Hey guys, Altitude Cal here, and this is my fourth time attempting to record this. Twice the volume didn't work, and once the power went out. So hopefully this time it'll go well. So today I'm going to be showing off my wheat farm. You need seeds, and it's optional to have bone meal for this. It harvests, I think, 32 wheat at a time. So it's pretty effective. One issue with this is that the collection area is not the same as the harvesting area but it harvests, it harvests more wheat than you could ever need so it doesn't make a big difference so when you do this you want to hold down your shift and click W after you jump to the first pillar and you just place on the next block when you place on the next block uh, you will always move in the right way so you don't actually have to be clicking A, S, or D while doing this. It is optional to use bone meal. Bone meal just makes it grow faster so you don't have to wait. But since there's water underneath each pillar, it's okay to not use bone meal. They still grow fairly quickly, except for these purposes I will be using bone meal. As you can already tell from my use of it earlier. Yeah, so I might have to get a bit more. I have bones with me. Yeah, I need a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, I apologize. The sound quality is uh, not up to par right now. I was... Well, oops, fine. Yeah, right now my setup with the mic isn't quite great. It's two different computers. One for playing Minecraft, one for doing the sound. So... Yeah, it's a pretty oldish computer, so that's why the sound quality might be a little bit slurred and not great. Okay, so once you have all of that done, it looks pretty nice from above. May I say so? By the way, this looks really complicated. It isn't. The reason it looks so complicated is so that because of the blocks and ladders, so you can walk across. Okay, so to harvest, you stand above here on your unique block, and you place your water right on this. That will harvest all of the crops, and they will all be pushed off the edge and into the corners. So, once you pick up your water again, you can go to the collection area, which I have mine over here, underneath. I tried making it so that you could just fall down because of a ladder that you place the water on, except water replaces the ladders, which is a glitch. So right now I have five seeds, and that time I got 32 wheat and I got 50 seeds on that harvest but I didn't really get them because I used 32 but you know the idea so now I'm going to show you how to build one I built one of these oh, a few too many times now from all these recordings so before I started this video I built this ring I need the ring to be as high as you need it so that animals can't just come by and jump onto here and fall on and ruin your crops. So I place ladders up the side and from that corner block here to the other corner block here is 11 by 11 so you need a fair amount of room. Then from there to here is 9 by 9 and the smaller area that you walk on well, you don't really walk on it while you're harvesting, but while you're building, is 7x7. Seven seven. That's just a too deep trench all the way around. So, yeah, first off, we want to find the center and mark it with this piece of wood. You can use any block as long as it's not a pressure plate. Okay. Or anything that takes up an area, like a sign, I think. Well, you could place a sign down if you place a sign right here on that block. Okay, so that should, is not in the center. I'm quite bad at that. I've realized almost all the times that I've recorded this, I've messed up with finding the center. So now you can see there's a block there. So you, you want to build a too high pillar over it. And make a plus sign above that. After that, you need to get your ladders out. Let's take the stack. And you want to be placing ladders there and there. 
and once you go the other side there and there so now you have ladders filling up all of these gaps so you want to dig in the center two down so you can see a unique block again and you want to place a ladder right there that way you can walk across this pretty easily and yeah so now if you were to place water there it just goes straight towards the edge and doesn't spread out so that's a problem so what you need to do is you need to take ladders I suggest using s ladders for this instead of signs because ladders you can stack and they don't take as many resources to get so you need to place them all along each wall except in the corner you don't need that you could add it except it's unnecessary there's really no reason to okay so that's all done now I'll just show you the water pattern now it goes down and spreads along all of those which harvests all the crops so now you want to get your shovel out and dig a one deep hole one away from the edge you don't really need the resources so I won't jump in and the reason I'm using this is so that I don't have a bunch, a bunch of buckets of water you can use buckets of water if you want so you want to be placing water in each of these it's turning night after this I just use single play commands time and day Oops. there we go so you want to build a pillar above each of these well, that sounded weird yeah but the pillar should be too high and make sure you're not placing it like this otherwise you destroy the water block and now I have to destroy all of these yeah the water blocks are just there so that you if you don't want to use bone meal you can grow your wheat pretty quickly so now that we have those you want to place ladders on each side of the pillar but not down here you want to place it on each top these can be used for climbing up though I don't fall down often with the amount of ladders I have to walk across whoops well that was really not a good example of it yeah but when this is done you won't be falling down often and if you do it's easy to get back up so uh, yep that's all of them so now I can walk across pretty well so now one thing you want to do is you on the one away from the edges you want to add another ladder so that you can get back up so all four corners need that that way if you're accidentally walking and you fall off here you won't be stuck you can just walk to here climb it up that's where the current pushes you so it's oh I forgot this block yeah, but that's where the current pushes you so it's best to put it there now what you want to do is you want to see your center block and destroy the ladder there that is so that you can place a block there later so you do that on all of them that's a very symmetrical design I don't even know how that happened yeah, but okay oh I must be destroying the block behind the ladder but I don't know how okay so now you want to get your water and you want to place it right in the center underneath the ladder that you just destroyed this will allow all the drops to fall to one well to four spots these center areas which allows it to fall downwards which we'll fix later into a central water stream okay now I'm just gonna cap these off for the building it's might as well do it now you can do it later if you want to but there's very little reason to okay. see if the ladder drops so far there Okay, so now one thing you want to do is you want to be placing a block in every corner skipping this one and then placing it along okay not there but along the wall remember skipping that one so that you can get back up and these also make it easier to walk across okay I just didn't do what I said I didn't skip that one but oops yeah so I need to do that all the way around and I just place that one all the time by accident you don't need to so you shouldn't okay now what you want to do is you want to come down here and right above the source block you want to be placing that filling that in so no drops can fall there and then you want to be placing your t 
two by two by one cube. And you have to do that for every side. I apologize because this is a very repetitive process. If you need to, you can zoom by these parts. But uh, you don't. I'm still gonna leave them in. Good. I think it is three. Yes, it is. By the way, on my other one, I left this all grass. That's a bad idea because if you add torches and you want to find in the night, animals will come and they will destroy all your places and you'll have to use your hoe on them again. And it's just not worth the effort. So now you want to be placing even more ladders. You want to place a ladder at the top of the T and then in the corner. Uh, that's my dog in the background in case you can't tell. Labrador Retriever, they're the best. Yeah. And you want to continue doing that all the way around. Now you can walk across pretty well without falling often. So, if you want to watch, the water flows perfectly, there's no dead zones. And so now I'm going to take my hoe and harvest all of these. It's just instead of doing it later. Another reason you don't want animals walking across is it's really annoying if you have to use your hoe again because sometimes if you accidentally hoe a block with a ladder on it I don't know if hoes are good then you, the ladders all fall off and you have to find them and replace them and it's just a lot more work than is needed. Yeah so after this you are done the foam you could use it right now. See the box is trying to moisten. Yeah, you could use this right now, but you want to create the collection area underneath. Wait, how long? Okay, I'm about 12 minutes into this video. That isn't too bad. So, right now, since I don't actually, the last one I had it there, so it's harder to get back up. So I'm just going to be putting ladders here. If that doesn't apply to you, then you don't have to do it just doing this let's just fix that I just don't like the look of hood blocks and in case you can tell you don't need one there to climb the ladders so that's pretty much it for that so I'm gonna actually work on the collection video this collection area this video you have to find your entrance it's not necessary I just like putting them right near each other and you want to dig down not completely sure how far you want to dig down. I'm gonna go look at my other one for reference. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave this in because cutting stuff out doesn't look good, really. In my opinion, that is. Okay, so you have to dig it. One, two, three, four, five down. Oh, that's more than I remembered. Okay, let's go back to this. See, it's starting to look complicated. Not that complicated. Okay. So, I think I placed three. One, two, three, four, five. Where can I place ladders? Okay. Now you want to dig underneath this. And I think that's all you need right now. So I'm going to add a trapdoor there later, in case you couldn't tell. So you want to come down here, just so that you can line all the stuff up, and you want to do one, two, I forget, it doesn't matter. And so I've connected these tunnels. That one is actually supposed to be one lower, which is lucky. And you want to dig this out. And I'm just going to dig this way, so that we can connect the other hole to it. That should be plenty. And this way. You should do one more. Okay. So go back up. I don't know why I always fly, it's just wait yeah, so we yeah, we can go to this one now. I think I've connected it. Might be difficult. Yeah. Oh, oh the, yeah, there used to be a cave underneath, that's bad. I don't think it matters. Okay, so this is the one that I haven't connected. It's going to fly back up. If you don't